guys, this is Son of Liberty. Today's review, we're going to be discussing the Vanguard 3 from Raven Concealment. Now, I am very new to carrying a, a weapon light this long, and if you're unfamiliar with uh, the Surefire series of weapon lights, we're talking about the Surefire X300 Ultra, uh, which is a very, uh, this thing is a powerhouse when it comes to a self-defense weapon light. Now, I got really used to wearing the Morgan during its my evaluation of that, uh, carrying the Surefire XC1, and during that time, especially running that appendix, um, you know, I, again, I got really comfortable with that holster, so when I switched from that holster to the Surefire X300, um, again, it presented its own series of challenges, especially as an appendix uh, carrier, primarily. Now, I know a lot of you guys do like to carry strong side in that 3, 4 o'clock position, and I wanted to make sure that I, you know, had tested this to give my feedback on that uh, particular position. So, uh, with that being said, let's get into it. Now, as I have stated before, I am not a, I am not a proponent, or of course for me, to carry strong side just because of uh, the way that the holster rides or the gun rides itself in the three to four o'clock position. I am more comfortable and more secure carrying my weapon in the appendix carry position. Now, the, uh, the reality is, is what I end up finding out is that the holster itself was in this particular situation was a lot more comfortable for me carrying in that three to four o'clock position versus appendix. And as I would uh, uh, carry in appendix position, of course, I had to, uh, I found myself doing a lot more adjustments than I ever had to before uh, for this particular weapon line. So let me show you guys a couple draws uh, and how it looks on the, uh, on the actual belt, strong side versus appendix. So one thing that I wanted to point out, at least for the appendix carriers, uh, is that when when I, I a couple things that I had noticed. Uh, again, I'd mentioned before that I find myself having to adjust the weapon a lot more because it it seems that it wants to move around a lot more. Um, now, one thing that I want to make sure to mention is that when you draw your weapon, let me put my firearm down. Uh, depending on the clothing item, I've noticed, uh, you know, not all material and not all, you know, jeans or shorts or pants are all going to be made the same thickness or out of the same material. So one thing that I've noticed is that it, depending on the clothing item, uh, as you can see, the material here wants to kind of cave in because it doesn't have anything to support. When your firearm is in there, it, of course, is laying against the uh, your upper slide. Uh, when this collapses, you've got to make sure, and you always should make sure, uh, that you're taking that time as you reholster. And you've got a really nice channel here uh, when you go to reholster the firearm. So, but again, you just, you got to make sure that that piece of clothing is out of the way as you go in to reholster the item. And it's got a nice little click depending on uh, your level of retention that you've got on the weapon. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate the same, uh, of course, the same thing from strong side and show you the difference. Uh, when you go to unholster your gun, you come out of the holster. Do you see how the material doesn't want to collapse within this channel? Okay, and it's just the, the way that the, uh, your body is designed and, of course, how this holster pushes out on the belt and it just keeps the material just closer uh, to the actual belt versus collapsing, okay? Um, and I believe by doing so, um, 
again, strong side, I believe that it is uh, easier for reholstering. Uh, again, you just find that nice open mouth uh, of the channel of the holster, guide your light inside, okay? Just push it down until you get your audible click. Again, that's depending on how tight you want to run it now. Um, again, I believe that this is a lot better option um, for carrying this particular um, holster just for the simple fact that it makes it so much easier on reholstering. All right, so this is what the box looks like, um, and it does come with, an, of course, an instruction manual. Um, I do want to point out here uh, real quick, guys, this thing does come with the uh, traditional hooks. I just couldn't find them for the video, um, but I personally like this particular style of uh, belt loop for this particular holster. Um, it is going to be very stiff when you get it. Uh, again, this is a one-way directional clip, which means that you can only put it on and take it off one way. Uh, and by doing so, of course, if, you're, if you have the gun holstered on your person, uh, you push down on this clip. And, of course, to reinsert it, you insert this round ring at the bottom of this piece here of the, butt, of the uh, bottom and clip it in. And it's, it's not going to come off. Uh, and, of course, you can actually see here, if I show you a little bit close up, that little piece right there is the reason why it makes it a one-way directional uh, button. Now... Uh, let me show you a little bit. This is the only piece, of course, that is holding this entire um, holster itself to the actual weapon light. Let me show you that we've got a safe weapon here. This is one of the things that I don't like about it. Snaps in there quite nicely, but look at the look at the wobble in that. That is just, you know, again, it, it is personal preference. Does it work? Yes. Does it do the job? Yes. Again, it's just personal preference. I just don't like that wobble. I would like to have that a lot tighter, but the problem with that is, is if you make it too tight, it's really going to hinder the, um, the actual weapon uh, being drawn. One of the things that I think would uh, be beneficial uh, for maybe as an additional add-on is some kind of uh, maybe like a Vanguard hood to where you can actually attach it here and it would act, a piece of codex would basically kind of ride over this. And what that would do is that would give you more stability as you were drawing your weapon. Uh, especially from a, for appendix carriers, it would prevent that piece of clothing, of course, from collapsing. And I think that it would just, just give it overall a better feel. Um, so anyway, those are my thoughts here, guys, on the Vanguard 3. Again, you'll need to make that personal decision for yourself. Uh, you know, again, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And also, too, there's going to be a link down below to follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure to post a link to uh, Raven Concealment's website. So if you are interested in ordering one of these, uh, that you can get your own. Thanks, guys. Until the next time, stay safe.